You may have heard that in response to the open carry march that was announced for Independence Day, which has now been postponed till next year and replaced as we have decided to step up our tactics with marches and rallies at all of the 50 state capitals for Independence Day, there was some fallout from Oath Keepers. And I actually met with Stuart Rhodes in person uh, the night uh, or soon after the announcement. And, and I told him I didn't think it was appropriate for, for Oath Keepers to support this. And it, it just so happens that I am a card carrying founding member of Oath Keepers. And I understand that the mission is different and about appealing to people who are on active duty, who are working for the man, that you know, you, you might want to not be formally involved with someone that's, that's calling to, to overthrow the United States federal government. I think it's high time we realized as a country that we're better off without the federal government uh, th than we are with it. And the Oath to the Constitution is to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and to obey lawful orders from those appointed over me. So I can't imagine why, at this point, people would be expecting that, that, that Oath Keepers would get on board with this. And, and I, I, I became a founding member and supported Oath Keepers because it was about not obeying, it was about disobeying unlawful orders and they have these actually listed on the back of the card, and it's a really great idea if you can encourage people to say, we will not obey orders to disarm the American people, just for starters. And there's 10, they're all really good. So when you're saying, we are going to, uh, you know, we're going to march on the Capitol with a firearm in civil disobedience, and if, if we get arrested, we are going to be exposing an officer there to be an oath breaker, uh, that we should be talking about it in those terms, right? We should be saying, yeah, this is, this is something that if you're an Oath Keeper, you should be concerned about, you should care about, you should want this Oath Keeper to be challenged, to be exposed. You would want to stand with those who are revealing the Oath Breakers, the criminals in Washington. And, and I made an appeal, I made a video appeal. It says, if you are to be an Oath Keeper, what kind will you be? Will you have the courage of your convictions or will you cowardly sit idly by as evil triumphs? America is at war with itself and the bad guys are winning. Those who would cowardly call for government to do their bidding and those who make it happen. The fight you are needed for is the nonviolent resistance here at home and on this Independence Day, your presence is requested. Now, because even though I'm a founding member, I was doing this on my own, not in an official capacity, I never capitalized Oath Keepers. I didn't say anything about the organization. But Stuart Rhodes wants to pretend like, because he put the name on the organization, that the idea of even keeping an oath is, is somehow their intellectual property. And he, he sent me an, an angry email saying that I was confusing people by using the term oath keeper. He thinks that you, as fellow members of his organization, are too dumb to realize that when I use the term oath keeper, I'm not referring to Oath Keepers, the national organization headed up by Stuart Rhodes. I, I'm really disappointed in you, Stuart, that you would have this kind of disdain for your membership in general, but for me in particular as a member. And you said, if you are going to imply that we are cowards for not jumping on your bandwagon, then I will give a public response. And in that response, I will explain why I think it is monumentally bad strategy. I thought that was what you were trying to avoid. So we had a public statement from James Hanna of the board of directors of Oath Keepers. And it, it goes like this. Oath Keepers does not endorse Adam's march. The leadership at Oath Keepers has a wealth of tactical experience and marching into the enemy's camp to be captured makes no sense. Oh, are you violating your oath here, Mr. Hanna? Because if you're swearing allegiance, and you're, you've already identified that the government is the enemy. You're saying that this is the enemy's camp. I mean, really, you want to play the military fetish card and go, oh, I've got the tactical experience. Let me go check my sergeant's handbook here, because as far as I can tell, I don't think there was anything in there about, well, you shouldn't march right into an enemy stronghold, but you should swear an oath of allegiance to support your enemy. Yeah, really. Get over yourself. This is fucking ridiculous. You want to tell me that marching in civil disobedience in Washington, D.C. is marching into the enemy's camp? You want to turn this into an armed conflict? Is this what Oath Keepers is about now? Really? The government is the enemy? Well, in that sense, sir, you are correct. But in terms of your fidelity to your own constitution, your current mission statement, you have clearly revealed yourself to be incapable of living up to be true to your word, let alone indeed in standing against an oath breaker. Instead, you would attack me, a fellow member of your organization, and say, what is to be accomplished by this action? What could possibly go wrong? 
These are the questions a responsible leader asks before sending his troops into harm's way. Well, it turns out that I am a responsible leader, but I'm not asking people to follow me. I'm only leading myself. And as the government has decided that they are going to come after me. And where the hell were you, Oath Keepers, when I was assaulted in Philadelphia for standing next to someone smoking pot? Where I was set up by the feds and framed for an assault? Where were you to defend a fellow member of your organization? Nowhere. Nowhere. Not to be heard from. No, you would not stand up against those oath breakers even when they came after me and turned this into an act of violence and turned this into an escalated conflict. You coward. You back down. You were nowhere to be found. When the rubber hits the road, when things get real, you will hide behind your organization, your board of directors. I would say that Adam's choice of the words Oath Keepers is no accident. You're right, it is no accident because I believe that we should call people out as Oath Keepers does for not obeying their oath to the Constitution. He is very familiar with Oath Keepers and our mission. Yeah, no shit, I'm a founding member. Not only are his tactics questionable, so are his ethics. Oh, you're going to attack my ethics now. Not only has he embarrassed himself by announcing a pointless and irresponsible armed march, he has damaged his integrity by using the good name of Oath Keepers to bolster his own agenda. Really? Really? Oh, no, no, no. I would no longer lower myself to be associated with your organization, sir. The good name of Oath Keepers. No, the concept of keeping an oath does not belong to your organization. I don't know if this is presumption or willful ignorance, but your integrity is the one that has been self-impeached, Mr. Hanna. And ironic that you have a red coat hall of shame on your website when clearly you are the ones pledging loyalty. You are the loyalists of today saying we will honor our oaths to the Constitution. That failed document, this failed experiment, this thing that has created the government that oppresses the people of America today. You belong in the red coat hall of shame because the attacks you have leveled against me are the same ones that the loyalists leveled against the American founders. And if you want to ever invoke them again, you will again be impeaching your integrity for saying that you praise their valor, you praise their willingness to stand up for what is right and to face risks while you cower. They would be ashamed of you calling upon their legacy to bolster your agenda. Real freedom fighters are not the bootlickers saying, oh, we're going to work within the system and call the system out for not following its own rules. No. The real freedom fighters are the ones who refuse to support the system of oppression. As Albert Einstein said, the pioneers of a warless world are the youth who refuse military service, not the military fetishists and oath keepers who glorify it or seek to justify it by saying, it's okay for you to work for Obama. It's okay for you to go to the other side of the planet and kill brown people in the name of the global war on terror. It's okay to you, for you to operate a, 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 a predator drone and kill, kill children with drone strikes as long as you follow your oath to the Constitution. As long as, as, long as you don't take fire arms from the American people. Right. Give me a break. That's what's wrong with this country. People making excuses for being a part of the system, for going along to getting along rather than taking a stand against it. I hereby renounce my membership, my founding membership and affiliation with Oath Keepers. I will not have anything to do with you redcoats anymore. And I want to point out one more important thing of the hypocrisy of this organization about Stuart Rhodes himself. Stuart Rhodes and his attack against me, the first thing he said was, Adam Kokesh is an anarchist, as if it was an insult, and went on to use that to condemn me. And it's time to call you out, Stuart Rhodes. It's time to reveal your own hypocrisy and the falsehood that is at the heart of Oath Keepers because I can tell you from personal experience, Stuart Rhodes has confided in me and said that he is himself of the same philosophical perspective. If he wants to call that anarchism, fine. Let the label apply. Anarcho-capitalist, voluntarist, libertarian, philosophically grounded libertarian who believes that we as human beings are capable of ruling ourselves without having someone rule over us. And I dare you, if you don't believe me, ask Stuart Rhodes. He might tell you, yeah, I believe in the Constitution. I'm not an anarchist. I like that philosophy. I believe in the Constitution. He has said that's only a stepping stone to get to where he wants. Same as me. 
same philosophy, and yet he is misrepresenting himself. He is lying to people if he were to say that he is not an anarchist by the same definition that he calls me an anarchist, because I have a similar view of the Constitution. It would be a step in the right direction, but really, that's not the rallying cry. The rallying cry is not an oath to a dead document. No, the rallying cry is to the first principles of liberty and integrity, and Oath Keepers is in violation of all of those, and Stuart Rhodes and James Hanna should be ashamed of themselves, and if you really want to fight for freedom, Oath Keepers might be an effective way of reaching some people on active duty to start the process. But as an organization to be loyal to, clearly, their integrity is not one that they even value for themselves. Yes, we will! Okay, but how? Yes, we will! How? Yes, we will! Hello, what's your name? My name's Adam. Adam what? Lanza? Okay. Anything that has a bunch of crap in the magazine that shoots 